everybody. Yeah, everyone here needs to wear their mask. I really like your mask. Thank you. I really like yours as well. Don't you dare take off my mask! Hey, uh, so listen, I just really wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, you, 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 uh, you should really wear a mask, uh, you know, like, it's not, hey, where are you going? Like, I, I, listen, I'm just trying, it's really safe for everybody. Who are you calling? You don't need to call anybody. Just put on your mask. It's safe, it's responsible, it's the right thing to do. You, who, who are you emailing? Are you emailing 911? You don't need to email 911. What's your emergency? You gotta put on a mask. Bye. Everyone must wear a mask. That means you. And even you. Wear a mask forever! Oh, and Senator. Wear a mask. Listen to me. You just need to put on the mask. It is not a big deal. You just need to put it on for a little bit. I'll never put on a mask. What is wrong with you? Wear a mask, everybody. Yippee! Hey guys, Mike Birch here, popping in real quick to let you know that the Beacon Horror Show 6 is on. Thursday through Sunday at Story Screen Drive, and starting this weekend, we are showing The Addams Family, as well as screenings of Evil Dead 2, plus the romantic comedy, Mandy. It's not a romantic comedy. No, it's not. And honestly, you know, I think this commercial is going really good. It's a lot better than the other one that we had planned. Welcome to Story Screen Drive-In. Our screen is really big. It's 13 feet by 35 feet. Wow, that's big. Uh, you can get tickets at our website. Link in bio or go to storyscreenbeacon.com. We'll see you guys there. Watch more movies, but make sure that they're spooky because it's October and that's what you do. Family. Every family has its quirks, but no family is so deliciously frightening or unusual as Morticia and Gomez and their children Wednesday and Pugsley. Join us as we visit their home and their cemetery. Please enjoy the 1991 hit, The Addams Family. Hi, Sin TV. Welcome to my mausoleum. So, as you can see here, this is my library, but it's not complete yet because I'm 19 coffin tops of education away from sending in for my very own Necronomicon, which is going to be pretty cool, I guess. But once I do get it, it's going to get squeezed in between my two favorite books, the handbook for the recently deceased, and then I have a copy of the Satanic Verses, and like, those are the best. But my series will be complete very soon. But I mean, like, I'd show it to you if I could. But for now, just, like, wait for it in the movie, because you're about to see it. So, like, have fun watching Evil Dead 2, guys. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Hope you guys are ready for a heavy metal nightmare! It's the revenge love story for the ages! Starring that Nick Cage in that wild face of his. I wish he was in this fire with me right now so we can make funny faces and maybe kiss! <laughs> now get ready for Mandy! <laughs> What's that candy? Ah! 
it's Raisinets. Movies. What are they? Where do they come from? Only one way to find out is go to the story screen, drive it, located in Beacon, New York. Movies! Spooky movies! Are you excited for another weekend of crazy, spooky, culturally sensitive horror movies coming at you this weekend? Because we got Get Out, Ah! And Candyman, Ah! So spooky! Scary movies are Hereditary. Wear your favorite Hereditary costume from the movie Hereditary. Haven't seen it yet? You'll figure it out. <laughs> they all coming. They're all great. You have to go. You need to do it. It's your civic duty. Everything's weird right now. Let's go just see movies. Movies are normal. Let's pretend to be normal. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrifying. They're so scary. You love scary. You love scary. Come on. Just, just come on. Please, please come to the drive-in. Hi guys, thanks so much for coming out tonight to watch a movie with us. If you've been paying attention to StoryScreenBeacon.com or our YouTube channel, you'll have noticed that I'm in character as Winifred, the character I created for the Story Screen Beacon horror show this year. Uh, I wanted to talk to you though one-on-one -on -one as Bernadette, because Winifred just doesn't really care about things. Yeah, like, I really don't care. And we do. Here at Story Screen, we understand that the world is crazy right now, and not in the good way. We are so happy that you're out here tonight to see Jordan Peele's Get Out, and we understand how heavy this film is at the moment. So we just wanted to make sure that you guys know that we're aware that while this is a horror film, we understand it holds greater significance right now in our community. So just make sure you're staying active and aware and feel free to reach out to any of your local community members for help if you have any questions. But we've just gathered a few websites for you today that you can go to, to reference, to see how you can help. And so if you go to blacklivesmatter.com, you'll find a ton of resources to find out just how you can help your community. But also, it's an important year this year because we have a election coming up. And we want to make sure that you, if you are voting age, are registered. So please go to votesaveamerica.com and you can find out your registration, what your polling place is, just to make sure that you have a voting plan in place to make sure that you get out the vote this November. But for now, we're so glad that you're here with us tonight and just enjoy Jordan Peele's Get Out. Urban Legends. Not just a criminally underrated 1998 film starring teen heartthrob Jared Leto, but stories of elemental terror and universal lessons. Tonight's feature presents us one of the best examples of this folklore used in modern horror. The tale of a Bloody Mary-esque villain who is unleashed upon the poor souls that dare incite his wrath. Please enjoy tonight's presentation of Candyman. What's that candy? It's M&M's! Hey guys, Mike Birds popping in again real quick here to let you know about all the movies that we are showing this weekend for Beacon Horror Show 6 at 
Story Screen Drive-In. This weekend, we are showing an amazing collection of films, starting off with Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. You've heard of it. You love it. You want to see it on the big screen. Come on down. And we are also showing screenings of Friday the 13th, Part 4, The Final Chapter. It's not the final chapter. They made um, eight more of them, but it's called The Final Chapter, and it's the best one, so we're showing it. And we are also showing Midsummer. <sighs> Midsummer happened to be my favorite movie of 2019 because I am a little beast that deserves nothing and loves pain. So be sure to grab your ticket at StoryScreenBeacon.com. 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 At StoryScreenBeacon.com. <laughs> Link in bio. Welcome, friends. Let's take a trip to Halloween Town, where that devilishly handsome Jack Skellington has a trick or two up his sleeve to bring a bit of Christmas cheer to all the goblins and ghouls. Without further ado, let us watch The Nightmare Before Christmas. Masks. Once thought to be the most terrifying thing you could think of, other than the face that may hide beneath them, now it appears the true evil ones these days are the ones who refuse to wear them. Tonight's feature presents to us one of the most iconic movie villains to ever don a mask, Jason Voorhees, in the fourth installment of the 12-part movie series, appropriately titled Friday the 13th, Part 4, The Final Chapter. gotta be honest, I'm like really excited for you guys to see this movie. So like, last year I got really into rituals because of this movie, and so my next door neighbor, Vincent Price, I don't know if you've met him, I call him Vinny, but he like doesn't really think I'm all that cool. So I like started this ritual of my own, and I made this like paper doll of him. And I'm going to like take the hair that I cut off from my head and I'm going to like glue it onto like his mustache and like sing an agent right. But like maybe he'll think I'm cool then. Cause I don't want to like annoy him forever. I want him to like me. But anyway, maybe it'll work. But I'm so glad you're here because you're gonna learn a lot of rituals and it's gonna be pretty cool. But anyway, enjoy Midsummer. Welcome, my undead friends. It is I, Cinema Ghost, Story Screen's very own motion picture spector, here to tell you about all of the delicious treats now available at our concession stand. Whether you're in the spirit for tasty snacks, like our Fishkill Farms apple cider donuts and hand-selected trick-or-treat bags, or craving hot refreshments like our new tea selection and hot apple cider, we've got what that hungry appetite of yours desires. So visit us now, trick-or-treat yourself to snacks that are to die for, and keep on watching those spooky picture shows. Hey guys, how's it going? Bernadette Gorman White here of Story Screen Beacon fame. I'm sure you are here to hear about the lineup for week four in our horror show. And I'm going to give you some information. We wanted you to get just comfortable enough to show some really spooky wood movies. Cabin in the Woods? You're going to love it. It takes, you know, your basic teenagers, put them in a cabin in the woods. That's all you need to know. The Blair Witch Project. Oatmeal raisin, baby. You gotta see that in the woods. Definitely don't look any of that up. And then Thursday night, we're showing The Guest from 2014. Kind of an underrated cult classic. Starring none other than global superstar Dan Stevens. Do you want to see Dan Stevens coming out of the bathroom? Just a towel? Of course you do. Get real spooked. Out in the woods. Sounds like a good time to me. We'll see you there. Seeing one of the funniest, scariest.
various movies in the past, I don't know how many years it's been since it's come out, because I'm eternal! Ha <laughs> ha! It's gonna be fire! That's right, get ready for Cabin in the Woods! Ha <laughs> ha! really scary. I didn't think it was gonna be this scary. I feel like a wimp. All right, well, I'll meet you at the drive-in soon, but like, enjoy the Blair Witch Project. Yes, aren't they just delightful? Gives me an excuse to dust off the old bones and tickle the ivories a bit. Tonight, director Adam Wingard and teen heartthrob Dan Stevens team up for a tale of a visitor who is much more than he seems. Please enjoy this screening of The Guest. What's that candy? It's a Sour Patch Kid! Hey guys, Mike Birds popping in one last time. We have one more weekend of amazing horror movies. We are showing some truly awesome movies this weekend and you need to get out here and come see it. We're showing Beetlejuice, a little Tim Burton movie from the 1980s. Maybe you heard of it? It's got Michael Keaton in it, and Winona Ryder, and Catherine O'Hara. It's also got Jeffrey Jones in it. And Alec Baldwin, but he doesn't look like Alec Baldwin, but that's not a problem. As well as screenings of A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. You're going to absolutely love it. It is without a doubt, inarguably, the best one. And we are showing Michael Dougherty's 2007, dare I say it, mwah, masterpiece, Trick or Treat. And if you haven't seen Trick or Treat, it's really good. Be sure to get your tickets in advance online at our website, storyscreenbeacon.com. Link's also up in our bio. Happy Halloween. Scaring people is serious business. It's not for the faint of heart. Not all ghosts and ghouls are created equal, my friends. Some lack the guts to truly scare others. When those unfortunate spirits need an extra hand, they may choose to conjure a little extra help. Just be careful what you wish for, friends. Now please, enjoy the 1988 classic, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Welcome back to the scariest drive in you've ever been to. Be sure not to fall asleep or else you know who's gonna get ya. Not that I have anything to worry about, because I'm fire! <laughs> now get buckled in for a Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors! <laughs> the rituals and traditions of Halloween are just as much fun as they are thematically intriguing. Just take a quick glance at the history of this famous holiday, and you will find a slew of stories and folklore that have been used to terrorize children, but to also respect the spirits on this fine day we have come to call October 31st. Tonight's feature utilizes these tropes and traditions, leading to one of the very greatest Halloween movies of all time. Please. Enjoy Michael Doherty's 2007 masterpiece, Trick. 